Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, October 4th. The time is just after 1 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 16 degrees Celsius. And I am here on what I think is Inglewood Drive. And this is right around the corner from Young and St. Clair. And for this one, I'm gonna be hopping in this car here and taking a ride over to the Don Valley Parkway and then I think we'll head down to the Gardner Expressway and that'll give us a rather spectacular view of the Toronto skyline. And in the car with me today, I have a special guest. What's up? It is Action Kid. I think this is his first ever Canadian car ride, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. I get to see what it's like driving around here or being a passenger, <laughs> at least. <laughs> well, you better buckle up if I'm driving. All right, so we're going to switch cameras here. Seat belts going on. Seat belts on. So I will see you in a minute. We are back. Maybe you want to say you we are back after because I said it and then you... No, I'm just going to leave this in the video. Okay. It's all good. Double check on my mirrors. I just picked this car up from the rental place. It took a little bit longer than it should have. And thanks to Action Kid for trusting his life with my driving. And we've already got an obstacle coming up. I think we'll just wait this one out. Shady Lane Expert, the shady lane. <laughs> expert Tree Care. Should I just pull a U-turn? I think it might be faster. Yeah, let's uh, U-E out of here. The first ever U-turn, I'm excited. So after this video is recorded, we're going to switch over to do a live stream. And that journey will take us all the way to Niagara Falls. And then there may be a driving video or a driving live stream on Action Kids channel documenting our ride back. So. Stay tuned to his channel for that. And now we have a bit of a tricky left turn. I can't really see that well. Uh, this is really bad. So this is traveling east on St. Clair Avenue East. And Action Kid was staying at an Airbnb just on our left. It was a very nice Airbnb. So we're going to go north on Mount Pleasant. This isn't the most direct route, but this is the way to that great highway skyline view. I originally had an idea to go all the way up to Highway 401, which is North America's busiest freeway, and show you that and then come down the DVP from there. But if we go on Eglinton, we might get to see some crosstown LRT trains being tested. Trains, trams, streetcars, whatever you want to call them. Light rapid transit, I believe is the official term. Hmm. And St. Clair Avenue uh, ends just up ahead because there's a valley that cuts through the city, but it starts up on the other side of it. I see. They never put a bridge over the valley, huh? There are several overpasses, but I think St. Clair just wasn't worthy of one. I'm not entirely sure. I think I've been down to where St. Clair ends once or twice. Let's see, we've got seven seconds to make the light. It's not looking good. We are off to an awesome start <laughs> to this driving video. Have you been east on St. Clair from your Airbnb yet? Uh, no, I haven't. I got a great idea. I put my black jacket down, so. Uh, well, is it in the shot? No, because it's, it'll get rid of the reflections from the windshield. 
or possibly create some new ones? I don't know. <laughs> when it's not your video, it's okay to experiment. But uh, in Florida, I have a black photography back backdrop and I put on the, the dashboard. Well, up here, you get those like vents showing in the, in the reflection often on driving videos. I think my black jacket might work. We'll see. Or uh, let, it's too slippery. Let's just leave yeah, it. Yeah, it's too slippery. Oh, I could have gone there. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. You can't fault me for erring on the side of caution. This park here is dedicated to a couple of artists that lived in the area. This person's turning left as long as no one sneaks out around them. We are good. So this is north up Mount Pleasant, and in a moment we'll be heading through Mount Pleasant Village. That's where I live streamed uh, a few days ago. I got confused because it was called Davisville Village on Google Maps. It's also called that. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> neighborhoods sort of have overlapping names. There's often the BIA, which is the business improvement area. Uh-huh. Looks like there's a cop out here. Oh, this intersection is out. Oh. So there's a... An officer directing traffic. This is Mount Pleasant Cemetery on either side of us. So Young Street is the next major street to the west, which was on our left. And Bayview Avenue is the next major street to the right. But we can't turn right onto Eglinton from either Mount Pleasant or Bayview or Young Street because of the Crosstown LRT. As they say in Toronto, there's only two seasons, winter and construction. <laughs> that car beside me, did you see that? I saw, yeah. It just veered right into us. I don't know if the camera picked that up. The passenger looked at me kind of dumbfounded. Sorry, you left your lane. I'm always curious when people do that if they're turning at this the street behind me. But they weren't. There's street parking. I see parking. some uh, Canadians are bad drivers as well. Some? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we honk as much as people in New York do, or at least New York City, but I think they can go toe to toe in terms of bad driving. Well, so far, the Florida drivers have been the worst that I've encountered. <laughs> At least in a big city, you're kind of forced to go slow. There's congestion, gridlock, lots of lights. So we're going to turn right at Sudan, and that is just before Eglinton. So I think the demographic of this neighborhood is a bit older. It's a lot of low-rise houses, a bit higher in property value. I see. There's no real rapid transit, at least not until the crosstown comes in. It's a bit far from Eglinton or Davisville Station. But there's some nice little restaurants here. We do have the air conditioning on. Hopefully that's okay audio-wise. It keeps the camera cool, keeps us cool. It was cold this morning and then this afternoon, like all of a sudden it's like 16 and pretty warm. It really warmed up, yeah. So we're gonna turn right here on the Sudan and then we'll make a left and that'll take us up to Eglinton.
wondering if I can just take this one. I don't see any no exit signs. Watch me go the wrong way down a one-way street. <laughs> Sorry, Action Kid, we gotta go back and re-record it. <laughs> or just pretend the camera cut out and yeah. then we'll we'll come back. I don't know what happened. It must have turned <laughs> off. <laughs> so I just noticed with this car the speedometer is in kilometers per hour. And the smaller speedometer underneath it is in miles per hour. That's something I might need to get used to. Yep. We adhere to the metric system here. Oh, this is nice. These porta potties are kind of blocking my view. But, <laughs> but these guys are waiting to cross the street. That must be a poopy feeling. Well, thanks to those construction workers, I knew we were in the clear. So this is east on Eglinton Avenue East. Once voted the worst road in the province. What's funny is this year, or I guess it was based on last year. It's Eglinton West. That oh, got, wow. That got that honor. Look at all the construction now. Yeah, underneath here, this is a, I guess now a, a rapid transit route. There's a tunnel underneath. Okay. So we're just going to keep going until, I think we're going to pass the Science Center and the Aga Khan Museum. And that's going to take us to an on-ramp to the DVP. Then we're going to turn right and head south onto that. That's gonna take us down to the Gardner Expressway. So what are the main highways that go through Toronto? The Don Valley Expressway, the Gardner, what else? You got two of them. 401, right? You got three of them. I don't know what else. It starts with the four. <laughs> On the west side, you have the 427. That's like almost the very western edge of the city. Then across the north, you have the 401. That's not quite the top of the city, but almost. Then on the south, you have the Gardner Expressway. And then just east of downtown, you have the Don Valley Parkway. So it, it actually makes like a big loop. Hmm. You use your phone to cover or record driving videos, right? I do. It usually works pretty well. And uh, the thermals on it work a lot better than an action camera. Action kid, no action camera. There's a beer store on the left. That must be weird for you to see. It's the big store that sells beer. And it's an unoriginal name. <laughs> <laughs> well, they kind of have a monopoly over anything more than a six pack. There's a new station going in on the right. Well, and there's a really neat neighborhood to the right here, Bayview or Bayview Lee Side, Bayview Village, however you want to say it. Lee Side Station. Because as far as I'm concerned, Toronto really only has two subway lines. The other ones don't really serve anywhere, <laughs> like through the main heart of the city. Well, Line One is really two, right? You could call it Line One A and One B because it there's the it the, U, yeah. the east side and the west side. Line 2 is pretty essential. That gets you all the way from Kipling. Basically the Bloor Street subway. Yeah, Bloor Danforth. And then there's Shepherd, which is a useless line. Wouldn't have been useless if they actually built it as planned, but that's just like a five-stop nub. <laughs> and there should have been an Eglinton West line. They actually had shovels in the ground for that one in the early 90s. But we had a anti-transit conservative provincial government that killed that and they killed most of the shepherd line actually not just bikes put up a pretty good video today about the city of toronto and how it's sort of come together heavily heavily influenced by the suburbs here's laird drive so you could turn right here and pretty much take that all the way down to greektown it'll change names in the millwood but it'll take you over a viaduct and give you a pretty spectacular view. Maybe I don't want to be behind the bus. Okay. 
and that cluster of towers up ahead is pretty much where we're heading. That's Flemington Park. That's where Science Center Station is. And there's new condos coming up to our right here. Yeah, I think this crosstown has spurred a lot of development along this line. Like people in these houses here are sitting on a gold mine. I'm sure. But I don't think we're in Midtown anymore. We are kind of, I don't want to offend anyone, but kind of a no man's land. It's a little bit suburban-y, a little bit urban. Big wide arterial, arterial roads. I hate driving behind trucks like this. And here is where the Crosstown LRT uh, comes out of ground just up ahead, and it'll be above ground in the Scarborough. And there's a freight train going by oh. now. And a unprotected painted bike lane on this route. Like, why wouldn't that be protected? <laughs> like, they had every opportunity to build a nice bike lane, and we get a painted gutter. Tell me that's not absurd. And it goes on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> which technically is illegal if you're over 14. But you can see the LRT tracks on the left. Oh, I'm gonna have to merge left. And that's the Don Valley on your right. Does the Don Valley have any relation to the Don River? Yep, the, there's two branches, an east and west branch of the Don River, and they merge together just south of here. So this would be the east branch, or over top, if I'm not mistaken. I don't trust the, the camera. <laughs> it's gonna overheat at some point, and we're gonna have to turn it back on. <laughs> Let's see if I can take this truck on my left. So what are your plans for Niagara Falls when we get there? Uh, definitely going to check, check out the waterfalls. That's the main <laughs> highlight. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll check out more of the Canadian side and then head over into New York. Is that going to be tomorrow's plan, going to New York? It might be Today? today's, I don't know. This evening? I'll see. Afternoon? Depends when we get there. Well, I've only met you twice, once in New York and once here. And even though we both do the same job pretty much, just in different playgrounds, you are definitely more productive than me. I aim to get one video up a day, three live streams a week. Here's a neat view of the LRT tracks. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen any actual cars yet. And you'll see some patches of soil. It's going to be grass for a lot of this underneath the tracks. This is kind of trippy. You see the the red light here. Yeah. That kind of makes you want to stop. That's with the LRT tracks. Yep. And coming up is Science Center Station, which will soon be, not soon, in like 12 years, will serve two lines. This is the northern end of the new Ontario line that they just started building. That's going to swing downtown and go all the way to Exhibition Place. And it's also going to serve uh, the Crosstown. And just to the right is the Ontario Science Centre. There's a real Canadian superstore. Have you ever seen one of those before? What do they sell at the real Canadian <laughs> superstore? It's basically a giant Loblaws with some merchandise. Okay. But Loblaws is a unionized store. And real Canadian superstore is not unionized. At least it wasn't when it opened.
I went and started lob balls today. I thought it wasn't bad. They had a lot of stuff available. It's a mainstream supermarket, but it's slightly more upmarket. Like they have another brand, No Frills, which is their, I guess, lower tier. It's a little bit cheaper across the board. Same produce, same meat, almost the same bakery, but it's lighter on the wallet. Right lane ends. Go, you Mitsubishi. Don Valley Parkway South. That's us. And when there's clear traffic, at least when you're coming down from the 401, this is one of the nicest drives you'll ever make in a big city. You're kind of diving down into the valley. It's sweeping. There's lots of curves. It's very tempting, tempting to speed. We're kind of joining in halfway on the fun, <laughs> coming in from Eglinton, but. We should still get some of the experience. Action Kids first time on a Canadian highway. Well, this is fun. <laughs> the speed limit is 90. Usually it's 100 on highways. Oh no, we're breaking the law. We're driving faster than the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm sure there's a little bit of leeway where the cops don't enforce it. Oh, they don't like enforce it. In and see this jackass just cut across three lanes in front oh of us? Oh my gosh. They don't enforce anything here. It is the Wild West on the roads. But you can start to see some of downtown come into the picture. And some nice fall foliage. CN Tower straight ahead. Yeah, I think in a few weeks time, this would be an even more stunning drive. Oh, for sure, with all these maple leaves changing colors. Locked into this lane. Got one of these. At least that truck didn't jump in front of us. <laughs> I see a lot of similarities between US highways and Canadian highways. The road signs are pretty much the same, and the markings. The numbers are obviously different. You're not, you're not going 90 in the US. That'll be very, very fast in the US. But I did note how they had no signs when the highway was near the entrance for merging and whatnot. Well, at one point, we're going to go under the Bloor Viaducts and we might catch a subway train, which is kind of a neat sight. So that tall building in the uh, center of the shot there is Young and Bloor. That is one Bloor East. Got some aggressive driving here. <laughs> no indicator. Yeah, no indicator. Look at that guy just. Well, they're both following each other. It's like they're racing or something. That guy even had a, a tinted license plate, so <laughs> you probably can't even read the license plate. I hope the camera's picking this up. It's a... Pretty neat view. So. Bayview Avenue and Bloor Street come up. Bayview Avenue runs parallel to Don Valley Parkway. It's just on the right. And there's like a neat multi-use trail that runs along the river just on the right.
downtown near Richmond Street, next exit. No, we're, we're just going, there. We're going downtown via the Gardner. Normally, if I were going to Niagara Falls, I would have gone north up to the 401, and then I would have gone west over to the 403, uh -huh. but we're taking the more scenic route. Here's the Bloor Viaduct, and there's trains that run. Line number two. Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. And they timed it just for us. Couldn't have timed that any better. And yesterday I recorded a video that went down the street that runs parallel to the highway just on our left, Broadview Avenue. And you get an unbelievable view of the skyline from that park. I would recommend you do a stream that includes that at some point. Like there's a big hill just on the left. You can probably see it. And from the top of that hill, you get just an amazing view. And just on the right is Cabbage Town. It's Riverdale Park West. Expressway West. You can see a streetcar going over the Queen Street Viaduct. So just to the left of there is Riverside and Riverdale. One of the neighborhoods I'd like to check out. Yeah. Riverside, Riverdale, Leslieville. I did a scooter ride through Riverside and Leslieville last night. I went to this street called Craven Street. It's one of the most unique streets in the city. It's pretty cool. We get a GO train as well. Oh, wow. They're getting all the transit. They're all coming for us. That's heading up. Here's the Don River. They're re the whole mouth of the Don River is being modified. And there's a new bridge just south of here that opened up, I think, yesterday. Get ready for the spectacular Skyline Drive view. Blocked by a lot of condos. That's the distillery district where we were. The oh other day. yes, I see that. I think I like the, the view from this side better than coming in from the other side, but they're both amazing driving through core of the city. This might be the best view of the city because you can't really see it <laughs> as a pedestrian from Queens Key or the harbor front. This is raised up a little bit. And you just drive right through the center. Yeah, it's, that's why we're going this way. I think it's pretty awesome. like the Skydome roof is open. Too bad this condo is right in front of us. It would have been a much better view of the CN Tower. <laughs> That's a CIBC Square. That's a big new office complex. And this one on the right here going up blocks the CN Tower from King and Bay. It destroys what was an iconic view, but... Yeah, so on the right, Financial District. On the left, South Core. Here's the Scotiabank Arena where the Blue Jay, or not the Blue Jays, the Maple Leafs and Raptors play. On the right. It's 
See, there's Highway 427. It says we'll be there in 10 minutes. Is that out on average how long it takes to work? Well, it's based on current traffic. Mm -hmm. So if traffic was backed up, it would be longer. There's a sky dome on the right. The sky dome with the CN Tower, which, by the way, you can get access to the observation deck if you dine at the 360 Revolving Restaurant. As long as you eat 75 bucks worth of food? Yep. What if your bill was like 60? Could you just say add 15 to it and let me in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you can. All right, give me fifteen dollars of food. I'm not going to eat. <laughs> I'll have six cokes, please. The food is really good. So this on the right is City Place. It's a big Vancouver-style condo development. When you see sky, the skyline of Vancouver, it often looks like this kind of just big glass boxes and curved buildings. There's Bathur Street. Yeah. We uh, pass downtown now. You're learning. I'm learning. Liberty Village just on the right. That's pretty neat neighborhood. There's rail tracks, a big rail corridor just on our right. There's BMO Field, that's where they hold the CNE and Exhibition Place. Or that's where they hold the CNE at Exhibition Place, the big fair. I had a few videos from there do well. And there's the big football and soccer stadium just on the left. And we have encountered a little bit of traffic. And that's not Strachan Avenue. <laughs> How do you say it? Strawn. Strawn. I don't know how you get Strawn from what looks like Strachan. Some guy's name. Well, it said 10 minutes to the 427, so that means whatever traffic we hit is not that bad. Unless something just happened. It's quite possible. And that's kind of the Mimico skyline straight ahead. All those big towers. That, there used to be like a motel strip right where all those towers are. Like the pay by the hour kind of seedy motel strip. And they built like a big high rise community right there. The one thing we won't be seeing is the Mississauga skyline. Maybe on the way back we can take the 403. That goes, that'll take us up to the 401 right by the airport. That's the, it's one of the top 10 biggest cities in Canada. I think it's sixth or seventh. That's the suburb. Well, it's no longer a suburb, but that's the city just to the west of here. Wow. With the big square one mall. They have a ton of condos. No real office towers though. There's a few older ones, but it's mostly condos. That's a pretty impressive skyline. On the right is the Parkdale neighborhood. That's where I was yesterday. With Mr. Continuum. You just did Queen Street? Yep, we did. We started from the, a part of Parkdale and then we went to West Queen West and stopped at Bathurst. Um, you skipped Ossington Avenue? Yeah, we skipped Ossington. I guess it's a weekday afternoon wouldn't have it really picks up probably more in the evenings and on the weekends what did you think of West Queen West thought it was a pretty cool neighborhood a lot of like bohemian type places and restaurants vintage clothing places remind me a little bit of Kensington Market but uh, a little more upscale in Kensington Market 
Did Ken show you Graffiti Alley? He did, he did it. Because that's between Spadina and Bathurst, pretty much just south of Queen. That might be worth a trip back. Okay. Maybe do Ossington Avenue and somehow go to Graffiti Alley. I'm thinking how you would do that without back or recovering some of the. Well, you could do Ossington up to Dundas. Dundas over to like Bathurst. Yeah, you could make it work. That's kind of one of those like must see spots. Okay. Back when I was a kid, there was like a, a bump in the road here that you would always hit when you're in a school bus. You'd always hope your driver would go fast because it would like eject you out of your seat. Oh my gosh. They called it the Humber Bump. These two towers here were the first of all the like really tall. One of them goes back, I think, to the early 80s. You can see the one on the right is a little bit older than the one on the left. They're not quite exactly the same. And all those new ones behind it are, well, they're new. So we have crossed the Humber River. Oh, I should have pointed out the Bay Arch Bridge on the left. It's kind of an iconic site. And now we are in, how do you say it? Starts with an E. Tobiho. Etobicoke? Yeah, it's a different <laughs> version of Pepsi. <laughs> Etobicoke. Yes, one of the, you could call it a former borough. And our plan for this one was to drive into Etobicoke, and then I'm going to switch over and we're going to do a live stream to Niagara Falls. So we're going to maybe get off at Islington, switch camera gear. Sounds like a good plan. Actually didn't take us very long to get here. Yeah, it didn't. And the good thing about this time of day, even though our car rental was back up 40 minutes, we're gonna miss like the monstrous rush hour traffic out of town. From here to like Hamilton, halfway up to St. Catharines, it's just bumper to bumper not moving. So we're it's 140. Like this is probably the best time of day to be making this drive. This car is pretty shitty pickup. <laughs> I'm like flooring it. <laughs> it's just gas power, right? No, no electric. Four little cylinders. So we're going to get off at Islington here and finish this up. I'm going to challenge myself to find a parking lot or something. It's Islington or Islington? Islington. There's a subway station. The second last subway station on line two is Islington. Okay. There's a big Ikea here. If you want to go get some cheap hot dogs or meatballs. There's Costco Wholesale. There's a big movie theater. Etobicoke has a lot of good things. Etobicoke. <laughs> Oh man, we're going to fly to Niagara. I actually don't mind that the car rental was a little slow because we're going to be making really good time getting there. All right. I had thoughts of going left in that parking lot, but... There's a Costco wholesale to the right on oh. the Queensway. This is the Queensway. Let's see it on the map here. Yet more confusing with Queen Street, Queensway. This Queens is Queen Street, Street basically. <laughs> what? When you get to Ronsonsville, the Queensway becomes Queen Street. Why don't they just say, why don't they just keep it as Queen Street? Maybe because Queen's Way is larger. <laughs> it's strodier. You know what I've also realized in Toronto? They rarely call it places, avenues, or boulevards. Most most Street streets are streets. Like even the north to south streets are streets. 
east to Western streets. All right, we're gonna find a spot here. Got my signal on. We're just gonna go left here. And we'll set up for the live stream at whatever street this is. Okay. <laughs> Lady Bank Road. I'm gonna call this one St. Clair to Lady Bank. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We got paid parking on the right here. Let's just take in the sights of Lady Bank Road, everyone. <laughs> Action Kid did not in his wildest dreams think he would be spending time on this street. <laughs> nope. I'm sure you've never been here either. <laughs> did you tell the border guard? Oh, I'm going to Lady Bank Road. Lady Bank. Uh, everywhere I want to park, there's a driveway blocking. It's all good. Yeah, just up here. We'll do. All right, let me grab the other camera out. Sorry. Turn this off. Uh, yep. All right. Want to sign off? Yeah. All right, do the honors and turn the other camera off. All right. I think the record button is underneath. Ooh, and it did not overheat. Awesome. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this one with Action Kid from St. Clair and Midtown Toronto. And then we went up to Eglinton, cutting through a few neighborhoods, then down the Don Valley Parkway, checking out that awesome skyline view and making our way over to here. To at Lady Bank Road. <laughs> Lady Bank Road in fabulous Etobicoke. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you wish to support the channel, there's links to Patreon and YouTube channel membership. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. There's a super thanks button appearing below this video. And Action Kid might have some action driving videos on his channel. If not, he'll have Toronto videos and Niagara Falls videos. Yeah. As that's where we're heading. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right. As me and Action Kid always say in our videos. See you next time. Subscribe, hit the like button. Boom. We will continue.